Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. There's always a pause. Difficult to explain. For every single human being is different. You react different to spirit. When you go into a meditation, you have your own way. Perhaps there are those who tell you how you should do it. You listen to them and do it your own way relationship you would have to that which is innate higher self pineal and spirit is yours unique the uniqueness of those in front of me drives our love for you so easy for you to look upon an ocean of faces if you're sitting, if you're standing, doesn't matter. When you group together, there is a tendency of sameness. All the humans are here together for the same reason at the same time. The same posturing, sitting in rows of chairs. Oh, that's not how we see you. I want to extend a theme and why we love you so. Why does spirit love you the way we do? Oh, I know your family, but what else is there? The artist Debbie has just presented some thoughts for you. And if you could give something that was an underlying theme around what she is teaching and realizing and seeing, it's that the energy that you have, you were born in, and all that is surrounded you has come from a dark light quotient where you were in the minority. You might say, well, bad things happen. Indeed, they do. If I told you that the new human and the new humanity is going to have a reduction in these kinds of things, would you believe me? If it's true that your consciousness is becoming wiser and you are starting to create a reality that you are designing means you and your children and those to follow will not have to slog through the old energy like you have like your children have you wonder why we love you coming out west in the early days of the United States was not easy covered wagons pulled by the mules and horses carried supplies not people most of you don't even know that the family walked beside the wagons day after day there were no roads the mid would hatchet their ways through the forest and create places for the horses to walk, pull the wagons. Sometimes they would pull them themselves through the hills to get west. And the women would have their children wherever they could. And some of them didn't make it. In fact, half of them didn't make it. Sometimes it would take more than a year. On the trails, eating what you could with the supplies, rationing what you could, 
baking in the sun, walking next to the wagons day after day after day, watching your children die. What a story, huh? You could look back in history, right? Well, I want to introduce you to somebody, quantumly, who is in the audience. Dear, that was you. That was you. You wonder why we love you so. You have any idea what's in your Akash? Really? Really? Can you imagine such a thing? That was not that long ago. Hardly at all. These are hardships of the heart. The physical was bad enough. To say hello to an infant for a moment and then goodbye the next moment was something that lasted a lifetime and you did it over and over. Part of the journey. And you're here and you know who you are. And you wonder, why do we love you? The captain of the boat was very proud. It was a splendid boat. He fished for a living. He was Greek. He always smelled a fish and he was proud of it, for this was his legacy and his father had done it. His grandfather had done it and now he was doing it. He is good at it. Sometimes he would stay out a long time in order to get the catch they needed to catch, filling up the holds of the boat with the fish, coming back to the village knowing that they would be feeding them, perhaps for weeks, until that fateful day when the storm crept up on him and he did not see the signs and he was too far out. As fast as he could make his boat go, he could not escape the weather that was creeping up on him. And the boat was pitching and turning. He was doing his best as an expert navigator. Turn into the wind. Turn into it. The wind is changing. It's coming from behind. Watch the starboard. Here comes a wave. Turn into the wave. The wind. Ignore it. You got through that one. Here comes another one and another one. And they got bigger until he realized it was over. He couldn't escape it. Little by little, the waves would pound so hard the water would come in. There was no way of evacuating it. And the boat started to go under. Plowing into the waves and submerging for a moment, it submerged a little more each time until he saw the decks awash and his crew drowning in front of him from the bridge. And finally, it was his turn. And in those moments where he had always thought as a sailor, what would it be like to drown? He found out. And his last moments were of his wife and his family. And he went under. And he's here. He's here. He's here and he doesn't like the ocean. <laughs> and you know why. You wonder why we love you the way we do. There are stories here. Also, how many of you have felt the shaft of the sword in battle? And it wasn't the pain of the shaft of the sword, it was the pain of the heart that you knew was over. Quite often you were, were young, young men, thinking of your mother, the comrades, the short life you've lived. You only have moments looking at the sky, waiting to die. The smell of smoke, the battle continues without you, and then you're gone. That 
is almost all of you. I want to take you. You have spent eons battling each other. You're good at this. You die well. Yeah, but what about the other side? <laughs> How many of you have been the one sticking the sword in? Look at what you have done. The experience in the oldest energy the planet ever had. You've been there. There's very little that this group has not experienced. The sorrow, the joy, the celebration, every single emotion known to humanity in its highest and lowest form has been felt by the old souls in this group. And I tell you that for only one reason. I want you to look at yourselves as bigger than you think. Unique. What do you think it would be like? And how much time would it take if a movie was made about you and all your lives, one by one, and everybody was watching it one by one? How long do you think you would be here? Let me tell you about a quantum experience that we have with you. We see the movies all at once. We know who you are. We see the experience and what you've been through. And as you sit here in this body, as a modern human being, we know better. And you wonder why we love you. The old energy on this planet that would create these kinds of things in mass, such as the battles, is over. If we told you that the light dark quotient, the relationship between the light and the dark had changed, what would you say? The intellectuals would say, that's nice, show it to me on a meter. Give me the numbers. And I would say to them, show me love on a meter. Give me the numbers. You can't. Because it is way beyond the logic of humanity to see something so profound that has taken so long as the earth moves slowly and the winds of change are blowing across the plain, the way, the same plain you may have died on. You are here representing the new breed of light. Your children will not see the hardships you did. They won't know anything about it. I'm telling you that peace on earth is not the goal. It's a given. When humanity starts to mature itself, you stopped killing each other. And when you do, the planet starts to move forward. More cooperation is there. Wisdom starts to increase and light is stronger. Old soul, I have told you this. Your lives are too short. When you return on this planet, and you will, the life expectancy will have increased. You will awaken as a child with more innate wisdom than any children have ever awakened on earth. Part of a new generation that will mystify the parents just like the indigos have done this time around. You will walk sooner. Intuitively, you'll know how to read. You will know that you've been here before. It will be more than a deja vu. You will understand a little more of the light that you carry. You will stand taller and self-worth will be no issue at all. 
you will have it. There are those who will think you're arrogant because you know too much. Something that they're going to have to get used to because you do know. You represent a new kind of human in this group. And the next time around, you're going to start populating this planet not with old souls, but with new old souls. The sun has come out. The metaphor of the city on the hill starts to be built. The city on the hill representing a peaceful planet that starts to realize who they are. And the kinds of stories I gave you in this channel will be the ones you read in books, not the ones you're going to experience again and again. That's the truth. Can you see this in a bigger scope than perhaps sitting in the chair all together in rows? You're so unique, family. Oh, if I could tell you the stories. Beautiful they are. I part with this. With all that you went through. And the grief and the suffering. Becoming a shaman. And then having to live in the outskirts of the village because nobody wanted your strangeness. Not having a partner for the same reason. Perhaps being killed because the weather changed and they blamed it on you. All of these things. Here's the question. When you came back to my side of the veil and you saw it all, why did you come back? <laughs> why? <laughs> now, it's the same reason you're coming back again. This is what you do. You are the pioneers of this age and of the light. And in this age, when it's starting to turn around, when I see you at that beautiful light soul, at the moment you call death, that I call re-being born, at that moment, you are going to look at me and say, when can I come back? 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 And I'll say to you, why don't you just go rest for a while? And you'll just stand there and look at me. I'm telling you the way it is. This is the fruition of thousands of lifetimes of slogging through the old stuff. You're not going to miss it. And you're going to stand there and look until the wind of birth sweeps you into this planet again at the appropriate time that you planned with your family and who's going to be around you. Without karma, with wisdom, you have waited a long time for this. And you wonder why we love you. Wonder no more. And so it is.
Be loved. 